Hello everyone, uh, I'm putting this up here just to show YouTube that I am operating within the guidelines of fair use, um, which allows to use segments of material I do not own the rights for in order to criticize and express an opinion. Uh, you know, just as any democratic uh, free speech supporting platform would do. Uh, I'm not going to make any money out of this, and everything I upload here will be for the sole purpose of reviewing, um, critique, and expressing opinions about uh, what's going on and what went on um, on the full. So this is part three um, of the video concerning the homeschooling of Abigail. And here Abigail is asked to perform to answer very simple questions about a story she has read while both parents are hovering around. I want you to see how Abigail operates here. She is six years old. The assignment seems to be way, way too easy. So just talking about this uh, very simple story, what happened in the beginning, middle and end. But I'm going to talk about the instructions that she gets from the woman over the phone or over the internet and how she reacts. Now the woman says, without looking at it, tell me what happened next or something like that. And I want you to notice what Abigail does. Tell me without looking at it, what happens next then? He wants... Uh, Abigail stutters, she cannot find the right words, she's not sure what to say. But the touching part is how she covers her eyes when the woman says, without looking at it, and she literally understands that she needs to cover her eyes. So she does not get the message through. She doesn't understand the instructions. She doesn't, she doesn't have that flexibility. And you can't blame her because she's never around people. She's never been around people. Do you understand that? I mean, can you comprehend, can we as humans comprehend that ever since this child was born until the age of six, she has never been around other people enough time to have conversations, to learn how to socialize, to develop the areas of the brain that conceptualize. To understand the more abstract meaning of a sentence that the meaning is more than just the words that are said that there is something more there so <clears throat> to me this is very sad and it happens again in in the next scene i'm not going to upload it because it will be too much but uh the teacher or this woman she says what are you reading right now and abigail says what do you mean she doesn't understand the question and immediately Andrea and Hadar interfere by saying no uh, she means are you reading anything in general and again you see that Abigail does not understand those fine meanings of sentences and, and words and conceptions she gets stuck on, on I mean seriously on, on the simple grammar so when you ask someone, what are you reading now? She perceives that as right now, in this second, what are you reading? She doesn't understand the more, the finer idea behind it. Even the grasping of the language is too difficult for her. And this is, I'm sure, connected to the isolation. I've seen this before in children and it was connected in many cases to being deprived of stimulation. Uh, the kids I've seen who had these problems came from families that were very neglectful. I'm not saying the same about the Fullies, but I am saying that these children, they lacked these very same abilities that, um, that Abigail is demonstrating here. So I also want to mention the fact that Hadar and Andrea are homeschooling, so-called homeschooling. And this video is all about promoting their choice to homeschool the kids.
It's all about telling us how good it is and how wonderful it is. And look at us. Look at the six-year-old. She's getting everything she needs. Well, it doesn't seem like it's working out very well. And it's not only about Abigail being isolated and being lacking in, um, in stimulation, etc. It's also about Hadar and Andrea there's themselves. Um, maybe their intentions are good, but let's be honest, you're raising kids in an environment that does not speak the best English in the world, uh, that does not provide them with the correct grammar. I mean, both Andrea and Hadar have problems with that. They do not speak correct English. That's a fact. And this is the only thing that she hears. She's not exposed to anything else. So obviously that could contribute as well to any problems with developing language skills. So I wanna insert this specific photo here. This is a snapshot of the part of the video that comes a bit later where Abigail is playing with her Legos. Uh, in this part, she tries to put two pieces together. Uh, she Her hand slips and one part falls on the ground. And then you see this look and it gets me every single time. She looks terrified when she looks at her dad and at the camera. And every time this happens, uh, it has to do with a moment where she feels that she has done something wrong. And then she has this terrified look straight into her dad's uh, or the lens eyes. I don't know. So let's move to the next example. Uh, in this example, we see um, Abigail trying to play with some Legos. And we see that Andrea, she interrupts and basically is being very intrusive as the child tries to just play with the Legos. Um, Andrea tries to take over the situation. She breaks everything down into very easy, chewable bites for the kid instead of letting her be challenged. Um, she moves in physically and mentally into the whole situation and taking over everything. At some point, she actually grabs the Lego out of Abigail's hands and pulls, and she and the, the child is holding onto the Legos and she just pulls because it's so important to her to show the child not to handle the Lego in a certain way because she has a bone in a finger and that bone will hurt if she does it that certain way. So there's a very intrusive, controlling, overbearing behavior coming straight through her. And I cannot upload the whole video, then I just took some uh, snapshots where you can see how Andrea is just invading that space where the child is supposed to be playing and giving her that feeling, I think, this is what I perceive from the situation, that she's not capable on her own and she needs someone to um, bite it off and chew it for her, at least in front of the camera. And then what happens, the next thing that happens is that Abigail, of course, does not listen. Now, there could be two explanations why she drifts away. One, it's a sort of defiant behavior because she did not like the Lego being taken from her and she was not listened to, she was overruled. <laughs> and um, that's her way to protect herself. And the other option, again, is that we have, again, I'm not a therapist, I can't diagnose, but in my opinion, we have maybe a case of ADHD or ADD, but um, you need to see how this works and, and how Andrea keeps trying to get her attention again and again and again, and then how immediately Hadar steps in making excuses, 
oh, she has her own world, oh, she's this and that, oh, the camera is on and that is why she's not listening or whatever, excuse after excuse. So complete lack of awareness to the situation. Um, just watch. Look here. Look. She's in her Hello. Own Look. Hello. 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 See how you don't want to put your finger right here? Because you got a bone there and it's going to hurt real bad. Well, riveting information for a six-year-old. Now, I think, in a way, we're coming back to that issue that we talked about before of not being able to separate herself from the child. It's, it, it almost looks like if you would give an image to this conversation, you'd see Andrea just swallowing Abigail, completely engulfing and swallowing her into her. And the next thing that she says when she sees how bad Abigail is and how uh, bad this, the, the concentration, focus, uh, whatever situation is that the child just can't do it, she immediately goes to, oh yeah, she's me. Uh, she's just like me. I was like that. I couldn't say three words without getting confused. Uh, you can ask Hadar. I'm, it's me, me, me again. And then it all becomes around Andrea and about Andrea. So it's, it's like, I don't want to say the word, but if, if you know a little bit about this uh, behavior, then you probably know what I'm hinting at. This ability of a parent to just make everything about themselves. This is what makes your child erase his identity. And I think, my opinion, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened or is happening already. Um, let's see this on film. It's hard for her to take instruction. It's fine. She's me. She's. Oh, you can't, I can't listen to it. If you talk for too long, I can't, can't yeah. hear what you're saying. Yeah. Why? Well, no, no. No, she is not you, and you are not her. And here's what happens. This is a perfect example of what happens when a parent is so self-absorbed. Because if you look carefully at Abigail, this child is very focused and very into what she is doing, what she wants to be doing. And what happens here is that instead of addressing the difficulties of the child, <clears throat> instead of looking at them, acknowledging them, and seeking professional help for them, what she does is she dismisses them because, hey, it's me. She's me. I'm her. I'm exactly the same. And that somehow, in, in their mind, makes it okay. They can just let it go, because she's Andrea. She's not a separate being, a six-year-old child, who has no ability to choose where to be or what to do. She is, in some way, incarcerated in this situation. And notice how Hadar supports this behavior by constantly justifying everything Andrea says and also covering for um, Abigail. Instead of looking at, it, at his wife and looking at his kid and realizing what's going on, he just covers up for them. He just excuses, excuses, excuses. No dealing with the situation, zero self-awareness. Um, and if I would actually, you know, turn to someone with anger, that would be to him. Because he is a young man in this situation. He should be able, I'm not judging, I'm just saying what I think he should be able to do. And that is to notice what's going on and to see the red lights here. So I'm really thankful for anyone who listened this far, I would be more than happy to hear your thoughts. Thank you.